Max and I's channel, but like Haley and I's channel. <laughs> Featuring me. Featuring Maxwell. Um, I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Time to get a watch. Oh. <laughs> Talk. No. It is... <laughs> it's 9.40. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Mm, let me switch it to the phone. One sec. Oh my god. Are we recording? Yes, we're <gasps> recording. Okay, I switched it to my phone because my camera was about to die. Um, I look a mess. No, you look good. <laughs> You're so nice. Um, all right. Well, we are going to Max's parents' house today with his family, um, just to like celebrate the fourth and just like hang out and eat food and the best. So I'm going to get dressed and get ready and show you this before and after because before not so good. The after will look better. And then yesterday, on July fourth, I filmed a little recipe on how to make buffalo chicken dip. So that'll be in this video. Um, and then you're gonna get to watch Haley for the rest of the day. Um, just do what she does when no one's around. So <laughs> this is the before. I'm gonna show you the steps as I get ready, but here we go. <laughs> okay, here is my hair before. I just kind of like gently blow dried it. So it's like not curly or kind of wavy maybe, but definitely frizzy. So here's the before. <laughs> okay, here's the after of my hair. So I straightened it and added like a natural curl. Hopefully that looks okay. Now I'm gonna do some makeup. My skin's like all right today. So just like a little bit of bronzer just to give my skin like an even tone because I use bronzer as like a all over the face thing. And some mascara. So I'm gonna do that and I'll get dressed. And Haley's here now. Hi Haley. <laughs> and uh, let's do it. Okay. Here's the after, so, oops, can't see my face. Just a little bit of makeup. I did a sweater, which I hope I don't regret, but it's like super light and airy. You can literally see the window through it. These pink shorts that are pretty old, but I like them. And then my Puma sneaks. So this is me, ready to go for a day of family. And this is Max. We look so good. Ready? Say goodbye to the people. Bye, people. Bye, people. Okay, we are going to head out. So right now you're gonna cut to me making buffalo chicken dip and then it'll be Haley for the rest of the day. So see you all tomorrow. All right, so I've been making this buffalo chicken dip for years because I used to be literally obsessed with buffalo chicken dip and then I could no longer eat dairy. So like the typical sour cream, melted cheese, like ranch, all that stuff I really couldn't put in my dip. So I started making this recipe as a buffalo chicken salad. So it was served cold with like cucumbers in it and green onion and it was like the most refreshing filling meal and then one day I was like why don't I take out the cold part like the cucumber and the green onion and bake it and have myself a dairy free buffalo chicken dip so I just poached boiled same thing right the chicken there's two chicken breasts just making sure they are nicely cooked because no raw chicken for me and then I'm gonna shred it tip for shredding your buffalo or your chicken use a food processor so I just use my Ninja. I'm just gonna like chop up this chicken into like two big chunks, put it in here to break it up into like small pieces and then we'll keep going. All right, that was obviously sped up, but like real time that took like a minute and 30 seconds. So really great. And I'm gonna eyeball the rest of this recipe. Usually I just, I like, have a full recipe. I'll link it below. Um, but I'm just gonna eyeball this. Also, Haley's here for the rest of the video. Uh, hey! I'm excited for a dip. I know. So, technically, I'm filming this like a day early, like I explained earlier, but we're gonna eat this while watching Hamilton's because it's the best. 
I have to say, because Chen has to make this where it's gluten free and dairy free. Yeah. And no cheese, obviously dairy, but I mean, I guess cream cheese is in it. I don't know how like a traditional. So buffalo a traditional chicken buffalo chicken dip has cream cheese, ranch, mm. and doesn't have extra like maybe mozzarella and, on top sometimes. And uh, like a shredded cheese. Yeah. So a shredded cheese, sour cream, sour cream, and, and a little bit of sour cream. Yeah. So it's specifically sour cream, cream cheese, shredded cheese. And ranch. I never put ranch in my buffalo chicken dip, like ever, because me and Lori used to make it all the time when I was in college and we never put ranch because we never liked it. Sorry. So I'm gonna use Kai Hill dairy free cream cheese. I swear it tastes like the real thing. But so that's what I was saying is like on this on its own, this cream cheese tastes just like cream cheese. But this buffalo chicken dip recipe, like I if you told me there was no cheese in it, like I think you did once and I was shocked. I mean yeah. there's cream cheese, but the extra cheese or whatever, it tastes just like it, so I'm excited. I also have my mozzarella sticks that I picked out. I love a good, like, heavy snack, like, for a thing. What snacks I'm gonna get my mozzarella sticks? Okay, so after you do the sour, the cream cheese, I did the entire eight ounces of the container, but you can do less if you want less, like, of that flavor. And then I use Forger Dairy Free Probiotic Yogurt. The unsweetened is very, very, very plain, so it almost tastes like a sour cream if you don't add sweet toppings. So I just use it in place of sour cream in this recipe, and I'm just gonna eyeball it, but it's like, just for consistency. Yeah, just to help with like the creaminess of it, to give it more like smooth texture. Um, and I don't put a lot, but you can also use like a dairy-free sour cream if you have that. And then the last thing is, this is the only hot sauce you're allowed to use for this recipe. It's Frank's Red Hot. I put that on everything. Do that. Um, I'm probably gonna use like three fourths of this bottle. Or like the whole. Or like the whole bottle. Because I mean, this is the flavor. This is what you want. Okay, so I just use, you can't see it, but I think there's like this much left, this much left in here. So I used a solid portion of the container. I like to use a little bit, like to drizzle on top, just to give it like a little flavor on top. But I think that's pretty much it. You can add like salt and pepper or like paprika, or whatever, but I like to get like either like a spicy chip or like a salt and like lime chip and just I don't know That's like dip what it. We have we have like yeah. hints of lime chips or you have siete chips. Yeah, lime and then um, the jalapeno kettle. Oh sure, that'd be nice. What's also good is you get a hot cheeto. <laughs> whatever we can get a little bit and it has a crumble hot cheetos on top but that's not dairy free anymore just so y'all know um so that's it i'm gonna put this in the oven in this pyrex dish oopsie this pyrex dish i'm gonna bake it at 400 until it's like not as like jiggly but it really just gets it hot and that's it all right um now we're gonna just watch Haley's for the rest of the day because she's here in the apartment um bye fast forward till tomorrow this is the future the future or this is the past whatever <laughs> Hello. An official good morning from me. Chen is getting dressed right now to go to Max's house. So I always have to have coffee in the morning. And when it is fall, I am that person that loves a pumpkin spice latte. It smells delicious. It tastes delicious. It just like makes me feel amazing. My mom would always send me these Starbucks pumpkin spice latte kits for like a Keurig that gives you Starbucks bottled down. A Keurig cup. I think just plain coffee but then this like powder just filled with sugar but all of the flavoring and i still have some from fall like some boxes and i'm gonna have that right now because it just smells so good i miss fall because i really hate the summer i really hate the heat but i want to make this all i have to do is let me get the mug what makes me think fall i feel like i need a really big mug i'll do this a nice mickey mouse so for my keurig ooh, you just pop in the keurig pod I have my cure right here. Then you get the powder. I think it does contain milk, but it smells like a candle. Then you press this button for it to brew. Now we wait. Yes, coffee time. We a delicious pumpkin spice latte that smells like a gosh darn bath and body works candle it smells delicious it tastes so warm and so just i just am obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes my day is most likely going to consist of this couch and movies we just have to decide what movies all right so i just showed you i made my pumpkin spice latte in the middle of summer because it just 
so great. I need to decide what to watch all day. We're watching, well, Chen and Max are watching Harry Potter Marathon. I kind of hopped in on it because I got jealous. So I want to wait for them to finish it because we were on the first, wait, we're on the seventh movie, but like the first half. So today it's like there's the behind the scenes of how they made Frozen 2. Uh, there's so many movies I need to figure out what to watch. But I just want to also come back on here because yesterday's video we watched Hamilton and my review was like pretty weird. Like I wasn't really sure. I think I just had to process it. It was so much like music things going on i think in the beginning i tried to watch the show as listening to every single word because i knew it was history and i'm not fully caught up on his full story so i'm like trying to listen to every word and that can be like really stressful and then i realized just watch the show because it was so entertaining the second we turned off the camera yesterday i had like what is it satisfied stuck in my head i had my shot stuck in my head like the music is really kind of coming back and it's really good so i think i just want to listen to the music and memorize it and then watch the show again because i think that'll be a different experience like knowing the music and it would almost be like maybe i think a better experience but i think like yesterday's review was a little weird but i think i just had to like process the music and process everything that happened and then even just kind of reading some things of like the gasp at the end it's not her seeing hamilton because she's died that's what was my first thought it's like her seeing the audience like breaking that fourth wall seeing the audience of everyone knows his story now it's like super nice honestly every single tiktok i have now is all about hamilton and it's just enlightening and also hilarious but i'm just chilling here here's theo I'm gonna drink my coffee watch the rest of this making a frozen 2 and i have to decide like if i want to order food eat leftover buffalo chicken tip which you will see the recipe today or uh and also like what movies to watch i think i want to watch like maybe a series not a super long one because i want to kind of finish it before they get back it's now 2 19 and the last time i spoke it was like 12 when chen and max just left i've just been still watching the into the unknown making a frozen tube it's so interesting you just don't i never realized like i knew it took them years to make a movie but just every little thing how they keep changing like the story changes so many times but i came back on to say that i ordered from this place called david's bagels that's down the street i wanted a sandwich so i got like a turkey sandwich i think i have to add my own like mayo and mustard i didn't have that option and i also got like a little soup um i also ordered a few bagels and cream cheese just to have for the week sorry I'm holding a camera is hard but i'll let you know if i watch any movies right now i'm gonna finish this and once it's over like might be a disney day maybe i'll watch hamilton again to like be alone and just like fully process the movie because i i just it it was really good i think it's just like as time is going on i'm like liking it more and more because the songs are like replaying in my head i don't know i'm, I'm excited to learn the music though i, I want to like listen to it like with headphones just like so loud and just be immersed in it but i'm gonna eat this and then i'll let you know if i watch anything else basically today is brought to you by disney plus a great suggestion you must purchase it hello <laughs> Still me. It's now 6.30. Chen and Max are on their way home. Um, I watched a little bit of the Frozen 2 movie, but then I switched it back to Hamilton and I put the subtitles on and that is life changing. I feel like reading, especially in the beginning, they're really telling his story that I didn't pick up on before. So I highly suggest using the subtitles and i usually hate subtitles but i think it was really important and it was life-changing i'm like obsessed um i still i didn't finish it um and i still really want to listen to the music like when i'm just like kind of walking around with headphones and to really like sink it in um but right now oh sorry the lighting is strange right now um i'm making some dinner which is just macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets because i'm five um chen and max are on the way home and then we're gonna finish harry potter we've been watching it over the past like few days and now we're like i think i said the first seventh movie because there's like two sevens like part one and part two so i'm hoping if they come home we can finish the first half and maybe the second half because it's like once you like end it you like have to know it's coming next when she comes home i'll film and i think we'll end it for today short day we didn't really do much most of it was just cooking the buffalo dip which i highly suggest you make it's really easy but um when they get back i'll film and then we'll end today and theo he's just chilling we went on some walks but i didn't film that are you gonna watch harry potter yeah chen and max are coming home you excited we'll see you when chen and max come back okay Exhausted. Um, let's watch Harry Potter for the rest of the evening. Last <laughs> night, we, we were like, let's watch Harry Potter. And 20 minutes, and he's like this. Okay. Okay, it was like 11. Do you need help opening your fresco? Yeah, I do. Thank you. <laughs> Can I have a chance? Happens. Um, 
I still happen to be back, I'm going to watch Harry Potter for the rest of the evening. Yeah, I figured. That's with, what I said earlier. With my true love. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. Come up and smoosh. Have a kissy. Oh, oh thank you. That was so nice. Oh, yes. oh, I missed him a lot today. Are we zoomed in? Oh, we could be. Hi, <laughs> my sweet angel. Hi. Hi. I love you. I missed you today. He's like, thank you. Goodness, somebody else you wanna sit? to look at. Do you want to sit or like what do you? I think he's just really excited. Oh, oh, okay. All right, well, thanks for watching today's vlog. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and buy our tie dye stuff. It's super cute. If you it buy is. a tie dye thing, we mail it to you with a little sweet note, but we also like tag us because we want to repost you. Mm -hmm. Ugh, and it's such a good time because it's so hot right now. So a little tank top, I know, high waisted short. Wearing a tank top today that we made. I would have bought one for sure. Of <laughs> the ones that we made. Um, okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.